Well, hello there. I am going to be installing Node on this Apple M1 MacBook. You know, since the upcoming MacBook Pros are about to be released, I'm sure that many pe more people are going to be making the transition to Apple Silicon. And one of the cool things is that because this transition is already over a year old, many tools have already jumped ship to the Apple Silicon architecture. Node is already something that already supported the ARM architectures. Their transition to Apple Silicon wasn't that you know, it wasn't that big of a leap since they already supported ARM systems. And remember, Node.js is just a runtime that allows JavaScript to be executed in the computer itself. And it also comes with the Node Package Manager, which is basically used for anything JavaScript related unless you use Yarn. And I think you might need Node even to install Yarn. Right now, we're going to open up the terminal. In the terminal, as you can see, it is default. It's just a black and white terminal. But what I want to do is I want to install Node.js. Let's open up the browser and then let's go and find the instruction. In order to install Node, we are actually going to install NVM. NVM stands for the Node Version Manager. One of the problems when you install Node is that Node may install in a location that requires administrator privileges and we don't want that. See, whenever you run an NPM command, Whenever you do anything related to Node, you never want to use sudo. What happens when you install Node normally is that it goes into a directory that requires root privileges and you have to run that command with sudo. What Node version manager does is that it installs everything for you in the correct path. In addition to that, it then makes it a little bit easier by being able to switch between Node versions. So if you're currently working on a project that requires Node version 12, you can and and you have globally installed node package manager or anything over 15 but it requires 12 to work properly you can easily switch between node versions so not only does it make the installation a little bit easier but it makes everything uh, more compatible in the long run if we go to this github repo you it's called mvm sh uh, node version manager uh huh. What we want to do is we want to go to install instructions and we want to do it from source. Oh, I forgot something. Uh, natural scrolling is on and I hate that. There it is. So, in order to install Node Version Manager, it's super simple. You use this curl command and you open up your terminal and you paste it. And that's it. You now have NVM installed. So if you type NVM, oh, that's right. It's not going to work because we need to add this to our ZSHRC profile. That is super simple. The only thing you have to do is highlight this, click copy and then type ls a and it will list all the directories in your home directory so right now we're taking a look at the home directory and as you can see we have csh history csh sessions but no csh rc i guess we have to create it manually to do that we do touch dot c s h r c now that we click touch we do ls sorry ls dash a and the dot c s h r c profile has been created we can run we can run that command once again the curl command and it's going to automatically add it to the .cshrc. So if we go source .czshrc, what it's going to do is that it's going to, um, it's basically like a refresh so that it knows that NVM has already been installed. Now if I type NVM, I have it installed and you get to see all the NVM commands. Let me make this a little bit bigger. and then command plus to make it a, to zoom in a little bit. 
I know this isn't a very intuitive terminal. After this video, I am going to show you how to install power level 10K themes and oh my CSH. NVM has already been installed. And what NVM does is just it manages the versions of Node and it will also install them for you. Now that NVM is installed, the only thing you have to do is NVM install Node. And it will install the latest version, 16.11.1. And it will also install the NPM as well. Now that it's downloaded, you just have to tell it to use it. So you can type NVM use node. And there you go, node has been installed. So if I type node dash dash version, node version 16.11.1. And if I type npm dash dash version, we have npm version eight. So node has been properly installed. So if you click, I keep saying click, but if you type ls dash a, this is your home directory, right? You will be able to see an MVM folder. And this is where node is installed. So if we CD into dot MVM and click LS once again, you will see there's a directory over here with versions. If we CD into versions, we see another directory for node. So if we CD into node, you will see version 16.11.1. Now, let's say that we want to use another version. Let's say we want to use an LTS release, which is which usually lags behind the current release. Well, you can type mvm install dash dash LTS. And that is the same instruction that you find up here. So clicking that or typing that, what it will do is that it will install the LTS release, which I believe is version 14. Now for version 14, you might need Rosetta for it to run on the Apple M1. But right now, all it's doing is downloading it. And I believe it's also going to compile it. So this might take a second. I'll be right back once it does. Good news, it finally installed. This took a lot longer than I expected. But what it did was is that it built the node software from source. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, but one of the one of the good things is that it already has an ARM version. So if a lot of the things that it did is compile the ARM version of node and to use node 14, you don't necessarily need Rosetta. So if we tell it to use the long term release with MVM use dash dash LTS. See, it now says that I'm using version 14.18.1. And if we go into node dash dash version, that's the version that shows up. If we go into npm dash dash version, I know you can do dash V, but for the people that are beginning, I just want them to know, you know, we're typing out version. And as you can see, the latest release is version eight for npm. And the long-term release is version six. So how do we go back? You know, we want to use the latest and greatest. That is simple with MVM. You just type MVM, use node, or sorry, you have to tell it to use the version. So use 16. And now it switched back to 16.11.1. And NPM also switch. So if we go into NPM dash dash version, now we're back to version eight. One of the cool things is that whenever you install something using a version of node, it is saved to that version. So if I install something to, um, to node 16, and then I switch back to version 12, whatever I installed with 16 stays within 16. So you can always start fresh. It's just another way that node version manager is super awesome. Also, these instructions work exactly the same for Linux. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, so I'm going to title this Mac and Linux. 
So the next step is I'm going to install all my ZSH and I'm going to install the 10K power theme because I want to be able to have some color in this terminal, not because, you know, I want to look cool, but rather I want to be able to tell things apart. As of right now, everything in here is just white. However, whenever you install a theme, you can see the directories are going to be a different color from what the files are and the text is.